Hi guys, welcome to the Far Side of Normal podcast. My name is Stacey Farr, your creator and your host. This week, I am beyond excited. Here's why. My friend sent me a picture and it was on and popping. <laughs> I'll show you the picture in a few minutes. But with that being said, this title is Hollywood, Here We Come, or basically, run me my check. I am so excited about all these reboots that they're having and these live actions. Some more than others will just... Yeah, we'll say amen on that one. But this latest one that I got the picture sent to me, my friend sent me a text because we always talk about it when we go on road trips. She's a rock star genealogist, and so we'll have to go to some locations. And while we're driving, we'll just talk about our dream cast for certain things if they went live action or what shows or what movies or what throwbacks we think would be the bomb.com live action. And we've come up with some good ones. Today, the first one we're kicking off is based on this picture. Now, a few days ago, I got sent a text and it had this picture with a little caption. They're gonna be making this live action and it was all over but the shouting. Here it is, ready? Yes, sir. If you can read that, it is Gargoyles. <laughs> Listen to me. That was my cartoon back in the day. Preface. If you did not grow up a kid of the 80s or 90s or early 2000s, you probably were like, what is that and why are you so excited? Let me tell you a story. Gargoyles was like a cartoon soap opera. It was everything. You had the monsters that were the good guys. You had the cop that was trying to protect them. You had the bad shady people that were trying to use them or destroy them. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. But that show was everything. And then you had the monsters themselves. They all had personality and characters. Because you know sometimes how they'll have characters in your life. Huh, huh. No. This is like the X-Men. You were invested in each individual person. Because you knew their history and their story. And you were committed. I would see, this is before I was a Christian back in the day. Anyways, people that would be hung over or quiet as it's kept, still drunk, would get up to watch this show. It was that serious. Just like with X-Men, it was soap operas in the form of a cartoon. With that being said, I think I have come up with a dream cast and just Hollywood, run me my money. It will have no harm, no foul. I will be on your roster as a person that can cast these live action shows. And then some we might, if we have time, talk about, we need to reboot the whole, just scratch it. You know how DC just basically scratched everything, cleared the whole table and starting from scratch? We need to do that with some of these live action reboots that have already been happening or already been done. That's all I'm going to say. But I brought a partner in crime with me because she is the one that when we are driving to go to her genealogy project, sometimes we go to cemeteries, we have to go to other cities, it's a lot. But she and I drive and we have these discussions. Because of that, I brought her on. So without further ado, look, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's my friend Tina. <laughs> Hooray! Hi. So I'm going to slide this back. All right. Okay. Today, when you sent me that text, mm. <laughs> I knew you were the gargoyles. <laughs> I lost my whole mark. I was like, Let's go. <laughs> and I replied quick, fast, and I heard, Tina, don't play with my emotions. <laughs> and she was like, calm down. So, no, you're not going to yep. calm down. So, we are doing our dream cast of gargoyles mm -hmm. today. Now, when we do these dream casts, we say who we think and we say why. You can't just be like, I want to see this person. Okay, well, that's great and good, but why do you think mm -hmm. that person would be good in this role? Ready? Steady? Okay. We are looking at the live action of Gargoyles, people. Let's get it. Okay. We're going to break down each character, and I'll kind of give you a cliff note version of who that character is, mm -hmm. because again, if you didn't grow up in our time frame, or if you've never watched Gargoyles, You'll probably be thinking, well, that's nice, but... It is on Disney Plus. Oh, good so looking out. people can go... If they got Disney Plus, they can go and, and catch up. Disney Plus, this is a plug, go catch up after this episode because you'll want to, and in advance, you're welcome. <laughs> but in my humble opinion, the first two seasons were the best. It kind of went sideways after that, but I digress. We're starting with season one mm -hmm. because 
if we, no, when we get a live action movie, it's going to be from season one from because season you one have to set up the yeah. premise in the story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we're going to break down the characters. If we have time, we're going to talk about a few other movies that we would like to see individually or collectively as live action. All right, ready? Here we go. Gargoyle season one. You have Eliza Maza. She is the cop lady that watches over the gargoyles. Yeah, New York detective. Cliff note version. So she's a New York detective. She is tasked with, or she finds out or stumbles upon the gargoyles. Now, Cliff note version of the gargoyles, they are the guardians of the night, but they are vulnerable during the day. When the sun hits them, they turn back to stone. Mm -hmm. They are high, high, high above New York and on these ledges because you know when you're walking around sometimes buildings you'll see gargoyles that is what they are at night as soon as the sun goes down and leaves their form they turn human or lifelike life yeah. right they come to life they come to life there you go <laughs> but as soon as the sun touches them any spot on them they go back to being stone so they're vulnerable throughout the day and her job is to keep them safe mm -hmm keep them unknown and protect them from the powers that be that want to try to harness their magic or their power or destroy them for nefarious purposes for New York City. So first character we have is Eliza. She is a New York City detective. She's spunky. She's ethnic, y'all. She's yeah. brown. I'm like, yeah. come on, brown skin girl. Let's go. <laughs> so you say your first choice in the why, and then I'll say mine. And you have to kind of tell them yeah. who or what they played in that they would know them from. So my brain for playing Elisa Maza, Detective Maza, was Stephanie Beatrice from Brooklyn okay. Nine Nine. Okay. Because she was all. I mean, it might be a bit tight casting. Okay. Um, because playing a, de a New York detective right. already, but, but no, the she way she the... did it, yeah, the way she did it, she was very. She was. She had the grit. Okay. She had the um, the the fight for it and. But at the same time, she could be really sweet and she could be really caring. Okay. You know, so that that's where my brain went, like, almost immediately. Okay. So. There's a character actress, and she's been in so many things, and Lord forgive me, because I totally blanked, but her name is Rosalind Sanchez. Yeah, and I too. think she would be my number one choice because she, one, is in everything. Do you hear me? She Every time yeah. I turn on TV, she's in it. Yeah. But she's also that combination of tough, crush you, beat you down, and she's believable. Mm. Because let's be honest, I'm just going to keep it 100. Who here, raise your hands, if you believe Denise Richards, who was married to, what was his name? I forgot. Don't ask but me. You know I'm back if you believed her as a doctor in one of the James Bond franchises, raise your hand <laughs> if you believed Emma Frost, i.e. Snow, <laughs> that she would really be that person in Arrow. <laughs> You're going to be all bitter now, huh? I'm waiting. <laughs> I just want someone to say, oh yeah, she was believable. Caitlin, really? <clears throat> now, if that would have been Chloe, let's go. <laughs> Chloe, Yes. Her, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. So, now. I can see Rosalind too because she played in Rush Hour 2 yep. as the Secret Service yep. agent. And again, kick butt. Yep. But she was still an approachable right. character. Right. So she's not just one dimensional, mm -hmm. oh, I'm a tough cop. No, she's still feminine. Mm -hmm. She's still able to be believable. And mm -hmm. that's the thing I want. A lot of these reboots, I'm just going to be real because we always keep it 100 on here. They're about as believable as snow in the desert in <laughs> July. Look at my face. It hurts. <laughs> right. It's painful. Okay, so there's number one. Yeah. She is the main character. Okay, yeah. Goliath. Goliath. And this the, is who I'm excited about. Yeah, the because character. Because if you knew Goliath, oh, I had the biggest crush on a cartoon. <laughs> I don't even feel he was, bad he about it. He was voiced it. by Keith James. Yes. And Keith James epic. is everything. Yes. You know him yeah. from so many shows. Most recently, you probably would think of um, The Princess and the Frog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was Voodoo, voodoo Man. Yeah, I love him. Dr. Dr. Fassier. Fassier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was everything. But Keith originally voiced Goliath. Yeah. But for the live action, okay, I'm going to say mine first. Go ahead. And yeah. I'm going to give you why. And I need you to look him up. 
Okay, so my okay. thought was when she reminded me that he had that accent in that brogue, oh, which was so glorious. Man, I love that voice. Look, I'm getting excited thinking about it. I thought for Goliath, Jonathan Majors. <laughs> and here's why. He has the acting chops to pull it off. Uh -huh. Oh, love you know, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kane the Conqueror now yeah. in Lovecraft. the MCU. Lovecraft. He was also yeah. in Lovecraft. Yeah. Yes. So I feel, and he's solid. Atticus, yeah. Because you can't have a skinny dude, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But you can't have a bulky dude that can't act. I'm not naming names. <laughs> but Jonathan, I think, would bring Goliath's intensity and his depth and his, okay, I'm sorry, yeah. but I said it. I said it. I'm sorry. Look, I'm blushing. I'm blushing. Okay, I can see that, but for the voice, it's the voice but that gets still, me. But I mean, his, his, voice Atticus, is, his he, Atticus is good, but the voice, voice gets me, and you know whose voice I love. Okay, okay, but he could do that. Like, <laughs> he, he could. Has. He could. Okay, so that's my choice. Okay, he could, but hit me, hit me. I love Dennis. I know. Hate that. I love him too. His voice, I could just listen to. Listen to him and fall asleep while he's reading the phone book, okay? This is true. His I love him on those real estate commercials. Oh, everything. Oh my God, I love and he could do good. He's got the gravitas. Yeah. He's got the, he could do the serious demeanor, yeah. the very, I am the leader and I'm taking care of my well, plan. Well, he was he God in Lucifer. Well, there so you go. he could do that. So he, he, did, he could do that presence. because he's got that, yeah, presence, that yeah. gravitas, like I said. Okay, so those so. are our choices. <laughs> Y'all get to choose. It's winner, winner, chicken dinner anyway. But those are the two choices. Okay, Hudson, Hudson. <laughs> is kind of like the old man of the group, but he, he's he, very wise. Yeah, he is. And he's very he's knowledgeable and he's very aware of they are in a different time, but he yeah. more than anyone he's remembers the, the past yeah. and the present. He's kind of the mentor of the he's group. He's the mentor. Like he, said. he looks out for Goliath and kind of leads Goliath. Right. Especially when it comes to Eliza, but that's mm -hmm. a whole nerd story. Yeah. <laughs> so he wants I that. said when I thought about this, because I forgot the accent again. Oh, I love the men. Mm. I thought of Dougal from Outlander, who is Douglas McKenzie. He has the look. He has the heft, because he's still solid. Like, Hudson's a solid dude. Yeah, he is. He has the gray beard, which was everything. And he has the voice. Yeah, but that you can That was my beard, first so, choice. <laughs> so, the other one I thought of was Kevin McKidd. Kevin McKidd, yeah. Because he's been in Grey's Anatomy. He's been in oh, he's been so, in so many, many things. things. So many. But he's solid enough. Mm -hmm. He's older. And he has that, again. But that again, accent. The, the, the accent. Because, again, mm -hmm. there are the gargoyles in the cartoon. They're transported from Scotland yes, to, to New, New York. York. I forgot to so tell you, you that. you got to have at least one character that really brings that with them. And that character in the series is Hudson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we have Brooklyn. And mm -hmm. Brooklyn is... He's wiry, he's silly, he's like the jokester. He would, he'd, he'd use the slang, like he's like right. all into the new century. He's, he would be, he, he's like... We could compare him to one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja. Yeah, he'd, he'd be, be like, like Michelangelo Donatello. or... Donatello? No, no not, he's yeah, not, he'd he's be not brainy. He's not yeah. brainy like Donnie. He'd be he'd Michelangelo be like Michael, where he's or, just like all in 100%. Yeah. Like, yeah. I could see that. My thought was... And we thought of this together. Yeah. Tyler James Williams. Yes. I thought of him. Yes. From mm -hmm. Everybody Loves Chris. He has that kind of wiry build, but he's also good with comedy, mm -hmm. but he can also be serious. And he's now, of course, in Abbott Elementary. And then you said... I said uh, William, William Jackson, Jackson uh, Harper. Harper. Yeah. He played Cheedy in The Good Place. Yes. And again... He, he can be funny, he, okay. but he can also be serious when he needs to be. So he's got a good range of um, ability to cover. Because, you know, Brooklyn, he likes to kid around and everything like right. that. But when it's time to kick butt, he's going to kick butt. Right. And say I don't so, watch that, but yeah. you, I trust you on that one. Okay, so yeah. that's Brooklyn. Lexington, we only have one person. Yeah. Lexington one. is the jokester, the kid. He's the uh, kid. He's, he's the goofball. And he is, when you... Here's my challenge. Look him up after this podcast. He is Kevin Hart. That's yep. it. That's yep. the mic drop. We I, don't I have any other person. Nope. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Is he him. is he will get every joke. He will he will deliver even his every, look. Yes. He looks like him. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Kevin, but you do. <laughs> you have a garbage. Right. This is a good thing though, Kevin. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a great thing. Yeah, because a lot of people love the garbage. Yes. We love we love Lexington. Yeah. 
he would be perfect. Yeah. So we don't even have anybody to compare. Broadway, and mm -hmm. here's what I thought of Terry Crews, and we both agree yeah, on that, did, but yeah. also Winston Duke. Yeah. Look him up. Okay. Because she this doesn't know a, who Winston Duke I, is. I'm now, as an aside, she doesn't love the MCU and all the comic books. She doesn't know him, but I want you to look up Winston Duke. Winston. You can even just look up Black Panther or... I saw Black Panther. So there you go. Oh, Mom, okay, Mom, okay. okay. Yeah. I still feel like Terry Crews would would be Maybe? better though. Yeah, because I've only got the the Black Panther to go off of. I haven't uh, seen a lot of them in, 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 okay. in other things. Okay, um, just because I don't get around get okay. to watch a lot like of that you. stuff. I know. I think <laughs> that either one of them would be a good choice because they're. I mean, he's a big teddy bear, right? And you that's know, why even I mean, though he's bulky and right. he's like you know he's tough. That's but what Finn do. Yeah, he's a softy too. Right, so. I think either one of those would be a good choice. I'm going to lean towards Winston. You can lean I'm towards Terry. Towards Terry. <laughs> All right, again, you guys get to decide Winston or Terry. Either way, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. But her is Terry, mine is Winston. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Bronx, we decided to go with Alan Tudyk, who because he's done so amazing. Many he's a phenomenal right. voice actor. Right. Like, pretty much any animated or uh, CGI, he's done a voice for it. Yeah. And, I mean, he's done, like, in Moana, he's a hey, hey. He's done King Candy and Wreck-It Ralph. I right. mean, he's just, he's an amazing voice actor. We'll stick with him. Okay, Demona. And if you mm. know the character Demona, Demona. So, Demona and Goliath were a thing. And I don't even know what happened. But it was a drama. It's, see, it's a soap opera. Soap opera. <laughs> we don't know what happened. But if you see Demona, the only person I could think of that would do her justice well, my first choice, because I guess there could be two, but my first choice is probably 95% is Lupita, mm -hmm. because she yeah. just has that regality that she did, and she has the... And, but Demona also is a bit ruthless. Right, and, and that's why need, I love her. Yeah, you yes. need somebody who can have yes. that, that kind of cold-heartedness yep. to her, because she starts out being really great but then all this because of all the drama the she's, mm -hmm. she changes and she becomes yep. more hard-hearted and more cold and, and like i said ruthless so yep. you really want to have somebody so who can bring that lapita could do that or danae walking dead that. because yeah. she already kicks butt and takes yeah. so i can, I see, can see those two Either ladies them, playing yeah. them playing Demona. and if you see her she honestly reminds me of lapita more because she mm. just has Demona was like a queen, basically. Yeah, she was. Yeah, Gargoyle's she, she other and half. Goliath, they were the leader. They were couple, the leaders. Right? Yeah, and so I don't know what hit the fan, but anyways, that's a whole other story. Those two would be my choice, but probably ninety five percent Lapita. I, I would lean like more her. towards her. Yeah, five percent Danae, but Danae, you still the bomb. Dot com. We love you. Okay, so then David Santos is the Zanatos, bad guy. Yeah. Santos. He's Oh, he's ah, such a creep. Think of him as like Lex Luthor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he, he has money. He, he uses smooth, people. And so he manipulates. Oh, you just want to yes, strangle him. Because you can never really, you can't ever pin him down. Mm -mm, mm, he's because of all his money and how yeah. he is very smooth with it. And you're not mm -hmm. supposed to have some before the devil, but yeah, him <laughs> just shake my fist. But he's also handsome and he gets away with that too. Yeah. And then he has a wife. <laughs> And I remember her, but we're not going to worry about her. She, she wouldn't be in the first too. season yeah. anyway. You'll see her down the road. But my only person that I could think of that he's handsome enough and charismatic and charming enough, he'd be like that charming serial killer. And you're just like, ooh, just get on my nerves. <laughs> girl, run, girl, run. Because you know you're going to die, but you're going to die happy because he's <laughs> is Jensen Apples. And I will stand by that because he has the acting chops. Yeah. But he is also so beautiful. And Xanatos <laughs> you just want somebody to drool over. <laughs> no, because in the cartoon, like, I mean, he was so... Thing about that. I mean, anybody playing the, the gargoyles, they're going to be in full makeup. Right. You're not going to get to see a whole lot. Right. Xanatos, he's you human, do. so you see everything. And in the cartoon, You just want somebody like, to drool. He was fine. Like, he was. And so you would see how he would do... Basically, all these I mean, women, but all so men. Like, he was just he was lit so with. shady. And I think about Jensen's range. Mm. He could he could crush it. <laughs> the only other person I could think of that would be, and I can't do it because of the accent. Mm. The only other person I think that could get away with it because he's that smooth is Tom Hilston because he's. He just has that, you know what I mean? Like yeah, he draws you but in. he's not he, he's not chiseled enough. right? He has to like, be more especially cool. in the face, yeah, because so, that's where that's where it all is mm -hmm. is in the face. And the only other person I could think of would be 
Um, and I don't feel like he would be good because Jensen Tyler like that. Stanley Brown is gone. Mm. Damn. Henry Cavill. No, 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 no. Because Henry Cavill, he has a chiseled look, but I don't think he embodies him. You I, know what I'm he, saying? He, I don't see him being uh -uh. oily enough. Yeah. And being that, that right. you love to hate him. Yes. Basically. Yeah. Yes. I mean, because that's, that's what Xander says. You yes. love to hate him because he's yes. such a jerk. But Michael Rosenbaum so was that in Smallville yeah. with Lex Luthor. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I love him. But I'm like, I just hate you so much. <laughs> I, but I love yeah. you. And I hate to love you. But I love to hate you. Like, just, ah. Oh. Yeah. So that is so, our Gargoyles see, yeah, roster. I can, mm -hmm. I can only see Jensen. I, I just, I can't. Yeah, I, I'm not... Unless there's some un untapped talent out there that we Ooh. haven't heard of yet. I mean, I'm Maybe. all for giving new talent a chance. Word. A so if y'all so, love anybody, yeah. put them in the comments because yeah. I would love that. I am all about letting new people yeah. take a crack at some of this. Speaking of which, we were talking about what other shows would I want to see live mm -hmm. action. Specifically for me, cartoons. And growing up when we had the best cartoons, listen to me. Mm -hmm. We had Thundercats, even though I was salty because <laughs> my brother would make us miss our soap operas. But, <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. That was it. We oh, had He Man and Master of the yeah. Universe. Mm -hmm. We and had G.I. Joe. Man, yeah, yeah, we yeah. had cops. And I don't know if you guys remember this, Mask. but again, look it up. Remember Mass? Central Organization yeah, of Police Specialists. And the little catchphrase was, it's crime fighting time. That <laughs> show was dope. Oh my God, that show was everything. Yeah. Of course, we had the X-Men. And yeah. then we had mm -hmm. Spider-Man. Man, we had some We had some awesome cartoons. Dang it, man. Okay. Awesome cartoons. So, oh, and then we had the younger ones. Like, we had Speed Racer. We mm -hmm. had Johnny Quest. I'm Pole Position. Yes. Mm -hmm. We even had, remember, we had Pole Position and we had, what was that? We just had it. Oh, I'm looking at them and I can see all of them. Oh, help me. I'm trying. <laughs> you got to give me something. Wait, 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 wait. It's the new movie that just came out, Fat Dragon. Oh, from Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, yeah, you had Dungeons the Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons. Yeah, the, dra that the was cartoon. dope cartoon. That was an oh awesome cartoon. Oh my God, that cartoon was everything. Yeah, that was a good okay, cartoon. Okay, so, ready, steady, go. Name one that you would love to see okay. rebooted or redone. redone. Or live action. Live yeah. action. It, it was done as live okay. action, but it needs to totally be redone. Jen. Oh, uh, wait, they had a real one? They did a live action gem and really? it disappointed me so bad. So I would love to see it redone properly. I could be down with Jim. And more true to what the cartoon Jim, was. I'm yes. I just need those earrings. Yeah. Cause that looks like she's trying for your life with earrings. But Ladies, accessories, you know, the story that they did before, it just, it did not work. Where was I at? I when don't know. It out? came out like three, four, five years ago, something like that. It was really? pre-COVID. It was right before COVID. But, yeah. I mean, no, the, the actors, they were okay. They okay. were fine. But I feel like the writing and everything was just, it was not true to the cartoon. That's unfortunate. And, like, they tried too hard. Aww. So, I would love to see Jem redone and okay. recast. Okay. So, that's my, that's my thing. Because my sister and I, we were all over Jem. Like, we would push, the, we would push my brothers out of the way. <laughs> For Sailor Moon and for Jim, okay? <laughs> Why you gotta be they, home place by Because place? they were busy playing the Nintendo. We wanted the TV. <laughs> they only had one TV in the house and there were four of us. <laughs> <laughs> so they had a share. They had a share, and they were sharing. So we got we got to get physical. I can be down with Jim because I used to love that, and I love mm -hmm. that they had and everybody diversity. Loved Rio. <laughs> that was so dope. Uh -huh. Like they actually had a black female character, yep. and I was mm -hmm. like, "Let's go, Jim!" And Rio was there, yes, and was the so Misfits. Cute. Yes, yeah. They were just doing too much. <laughs> just doing. But too there much. was a nice variety. There was. So it was always fun. There was. Okay, and the music was good. That's true. And then they had their own little music video. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, that's That was like half the fun was right. the music video. Yeah, Miss Julie. Yeah. That was the jam. So okay, that would okay. be for me. That would Jim, be my I video. could be down with that. All right. For me, it's a toss-up because we had such good cartoons. We did. We had a lot of good cartoons. Okay. I'm going to go with the safe one for now. Look. Safe. For now. But I'm going to come back to it in a minute. Okay. For me, I think it would be a toss-up between Johnny Quest, because I'm sorry, yeah, that Johnny show was Quest just is good. stupid dope. Yeah. Basically, it was a Jason Bourne for teens back in the day. Yeah, literally. And their outfits were everything. Like, dude, if you, okay, look up Johnny Quest. 
their outfit, the black turtleneck, it slipped <laughs> through. It was like James Bond, I'm telling you. Yeah. Johnny Quest would be money, 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 money. Johnny Quest would be just, oh, that cartoon would be everything. And I want to see Kim Possible. That would be With awesome. Stupid. That would be stupid. Oh, oh, that would be good. Kim Possible stupid. would be good. She goes, that would be an let's awesome go. live action. That yes. would be and that would be so good for new talent too. Yeah, because they could they could be very young and yep. oh yeah, that you would got be the amazing. twins. You have KP. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have Wade. Mm -hmm. And I know the people that played the voices, but man, that would be just dope. that would be awesome. Like I agree. KP and Hot Oh Ron mm -hmm. Stoppable. Okay, the Naked Mole. <laughs> yeah, <Ryan. laughs> that, yeah, that song was it. He was like the Naked Mole. Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> I love that song. And Rufus come through yeah, the Naked that would Mole. Be good. And then you have her parents, so you have a whole universe yeah. because then you have her friend Monique, yeah. and that was played by Raven Simone. But of course, so you have diversity, but yeah. you also have size diversity because her friend yeah, was kind of juicy. She was yeah. juicy, yeah. And then you had so. Shigo, we're going to call her ethnic because she's green, close enough. <laughs> but then you had her arch nemesis. Like, it would be, but that again, would be dope. But again, that would be a really awesome one for new talent. Yeah. Because they're all so young. Yep. And so that is that, that would I would really like to see because you know let's face it you see the same people over and over and yeah I understand you gotta work so you gotta do a lot of stuff but no but here's we where TikTok see some would stuff. come in yeah TikTok would be because I've seen there's some so many people, people who want a shot one the makeup artistry and the cosplay is tier oh my gosh I mean top tier two the talent is there mm -hmm. they just don't have a chance so. Here that, again, yeah. um, Hollywood, no shade, but y'all kind of, you know, you dusty. <laughs> what I would do as a casting person, because that's what I'm going to be, you know, <laughs> you're coming to. <clears throat> Anyways, I would go to TikTok mm -hmm. and be like, hey, y'all, we are filming for this. Send me this. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Because you have too many incredible people. There's so And much I'm just going to throw people under the bus. Hollywood has always been a gatekeeper. If you're not pale and female or pale and male, they don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to help you out. People, Hollywood, no shade, but holla back. TikTok, let's get it. Mm -hmm. So that would be the pool I would pull from because mm -hmm. you would have so many more people that have the opportunity. Think about Nikki Blonsky with Hairspray. Right. When they did a nationwide cast, when they rebooted Hairspray, they didn't want someone, they wanted they a new wanted talent. Very, so it was yeah, introducing Nikki yeah. Blonsky for yeah. Hairspray. I love the Hairspray reboot. <laughs> yeah, it makes me really watch that again. Yeah, we do. Yeah, album, we do. That was just Hairspray. so fun. <laughs> James Marsden is everything. <laughs> I love him. He has been my crush forever. I love James Marsden so much. Anyways, focus, focus. Okay, so one more. So another Since reboot. I did too. Yeah, yeah, you did do too. So different reboot. Well, you know, I. it's my sister too, right? We watched a lot of the same stuff growing up. I would do for her Sailor Moon. A live action Sailor Moon. I never really got into it, but I'll let you have but it. Because that was when all the anime was really right. starting to come to the U.S. So you had like the Voltron. Right. We had the, um, uh, what was it? Uh, not uh, Gundam Wing yeah. and all of those things. Sailor Moon was the one that got the girls. You're right. That was the biggie. And so for her, I would love to see a, a properly done re, uh, live have action. Have they ever done a live they action? They have done a live action. And when? Where have I been? I don't know where you've been. It was, it was um, gosh, early 2000s. But it was Japanese, of course. Okay. Uh, so, but the thing is, is, you know, they, again, they were all, they're all pale, yes, but they were all different colors as well. Close enough. So you could still have anybody play the roles. Okay. Because... You know, you can dye the hair blue or green or whatever color you need to dye it. So All that's right. what I would do for my sister. So you heard it here. <laughs> we have the cast for Gargoyles. Let's get it. We have four, not three, not two, not one, things that we would like to see live action. Mm -hmm. I think we need to do a part two because there's Probably. too many movies oh, there's so many. <laughs> and too many cartoons that we need to either have rebooted or live action. Mm -hmm. But again, Hollywood, we're here. Just, you know, ring us up. You can reach us. This has been the most fun Far Side of Normal <laughs> podcast because we're talking about casting live action shows of cartoons mm -hmm. that we grew up with that we would love to see. Mm -hmm. Let us know which ones you would like to see. Leave it in the comments. And let us know which of our choices you think would be right for each character or just who you think would be better. 
Yep. I dare you. <laughs> That's all we got. Thank you so much for sticking with us and hanging in there. Until next time.